um, it was a horrific day and to sit and talk with my students about it now to reminisce about that and uh, it brings back old hurt feelings. Janice Hill, I'm a U.S. history teacher as well as an avid teacher at Craigmont High School in Memphis, Tennessee. I can remember how my students reacted five years ago when I showed them video clips of what actually happened uh, seven years ago, eight years ago, uh, the expression on their face when they kept saying that really happened here. You know, it was, it was really hard for a lot of them to even grasp that this actually happened here in what many of them would say in our own backyards. Yeah. Because 9-11 is not a big part of our curriculum, uh, normally with my AVID students and uh, my honor students, I would do uh, a little mini lesson on 9-11. Uh, where were you on 9-11? And a lot of them would tell me, well, Miss Hill, I was only a baby. Probably in daycare, uh, probably crying somewhere, you know, because they were so young. Uh, a lot of them don't remember. Uh, what they were doing that particular day. And then we would get into a discussion on uh, what else is happening in America as far as terrorists is concerned. Uh, I show them little mini video clips of 9-11. Uh, I show them little clips of any terrorist act that has happened within the last year. And a lot of them are just still trying to grasp with and that really happened here. You know, that's, that's always their question. That really happened here. So we would do what was called a Socratic seminar. And we'll sit down and we'll discuss terrorism in America and terrorism back then. And what do they think uh, is happening in America today? They need to know. Uh, they need to be made aware and abreast of what has happened, what could happen again, what led up to those things, you know, so that they can see the signs. Uh, for themselves. Uh, like any form of history, I just think it is better to be informed than not informed. 